What is up everybody, Gary Simon here and I have a big one. Today is a new course announcement and I've made this course with Scrimba. Some of you may already know of my UI design bootcamp from last year. Well, I have a brand new course here as you can see from Figma to code. All right, so what exactly does that mean? All right, well, so basically we're going to have five different projects and this is a very project oriented course and your goal is to take five different high fidelity mockups or designs layouts that I've created in Figma and make them a working reality in the browser with HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript. And what's really cool is at the beginning of each of these casts, I challenge you to create the HTML and CSS to make it a reality. And if you can't figure it out, no big deal because I show you exactly step by step how I would tackle the HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript for each of these projects. All right, so what are you going to learn essentially? Well, there's a lot. Uh, you're gonna learn how to use Figma specifically in relation to towards how to translate like the pixel values in order in, from like M units to rem units in order to create as close as possible a, a pixel perfect representation of the layout in the browser. Uh, you're gonna learn how to structure the HTML based on these high fidelity mockups. Uh, you're gonna learn to use the CSS grid, also the Flexbox animated navigations, using SVGs, there's a lot here. You can click on the top link of the description to read all the rest of these. Uh, there's a lot here though, uh, and even more than just what's listed here to make all these different layouts a reality. Um, here's some of the, pro or all the projects that you will learn how to build, and these are all things that I designed. Let me show you specifically. Um, at the beginning of each project, you're able to get access to an actual Figma link where you can see all of these uh, design. So this is the very first project. It's not even a full layout. It's very simple. It's just a component just to get our feet wet uh, with, you know, the flow of the course essentially. And especially for those of you who may, may be new to this sort of thing. So the goal is to take, you know, this right here, starting with mobile first, I uh, take this layout and make it also a reality right here uh, on a full desktop version. And like I said, you're challenged at the very beginning of these lessons to tackle this yourselves and then I show you exactly how to do it. Next up is a simple landing page right here. We can see we have uh, three different viewports to design for. We have a large uh, tablet or a desktop right here. We have a small tablet. We have mobile. Of course, you know, we're getting a little more involved. We have an interesting sort of background here, um, which actually has a normal image, but there's also a secondary background uh, that you have to use as well with opacity. So I show you how to all do all this stuff with pseudo elements. Next up is a cars layout. So right here, we have a little bit of interactivity with this one. You have to make this drop down function, this like functionality here. Um, and if you can see, this one gives you a lot of work with a layout that has a lot of type based elements to it. How would you make this work? Also a dashboard here. So this one's a, a really fun project uh, where you need to make this nav right here slide out based on the mobile nav, the mobile version of the design, um, and just a lot of other fun stuff uh, that required that is required, and a lot of just different techniques for HTML and CSS to make all of this work. And then finally, for the final project, we have this. It's the one that's going to take the longest. Uh, it's the most involved. If I zoom up, we can see we have overlapping elements. How do we achieve that? Um, we also make this actually float. How do we do that? There's a lot of fun stuff. This, uh, this right here is a CSS grid. I show you exactly how to take care of that and much, much, much more. So if you've never actually used the Figma, or sorry, Figma, the Scrimba user interface, it's really cool because it's not a video. You can see a play icon down here, but it's not a video. It's actually an interactive live uh, code editor in the browser where you can hear me talk and see exactly what I'm typing along with this little mini browser as it's called as changes are made. So if I back up here and I hit play, normally you would hear me, but you can see me typing here, give an exclamation. And at any point you can just pause and I could just start editing and I can change like this background color of this area right here to green, for instance. I'm able to create these notes right here. And so it's just a really interactive environment um, where I challenge you to work within this code editor 
in order to try to make these projects a reality based on what you've learned uh, throughout the course. So definitely check out the top link here in the YouTube description to take the course today. And I look forward to seeing what all of you come up with.